Hi everyone, welcome to my channel and I hope you're all fine. All the time I have been asked for making a power supply and in today's video I'm going to make a powerful power supply for you. Now, I've just designed these power supplies for you. It's 12 volt and 50 watts. It's very uh, powerful. It's pretty strong power supply. So you can use these power supplies for most of your applications. You can charge your lead acid battery, your lithium ion batteries with this uh, power supply and also you can charge your laptop your computer uh, with this power supply you can use this power supply for any lightning and uh, for your amplifier systems uh, it's very useful and powerful uh, you can use it in any way but before we get started to build our power supply please subscribe my youtube channel and like my videos i love you much stay with the joy of electronics and take care of yourself my friends for doing our power supply, first of all, I need four pieces of diodes, one and four thousand seven diode. I will use this diode to make our power supply's rectifier breach. Firstly, I take two pieces of diodes and I will connect the positive poles of the diode together, just like this. And after that, I will take the other two pieces of diodes and at this time, I will connect the negative poles of the diodes together just like the previous one. Okay. Now, at this time, I will connect these two pairs of diodes together, the positive poles of this pair to negative poles of this pair. Just like this, I will connect them together. Please look at the connections of the diode very carefully. These two pins will be our uh, output, AC output. This will be a positive output and the negative output and these two pins will be our AC current's input. I am taking my electronic capacitor that is 25 volts and 2200 microfarads. I will connect these capacitors to the diode. I will connect the negative poles of the capacitor to the negative poles of the diodes and the positive poles to the positive poles of the diodes. And I'm going to weld the connections of the diodes as well. Okay, as you see, I connect the negative poles of the capacitor to the negative poles of diodes and the positive poles of the capacitor to the positive poles um, of diodes. And these two pins, as I said earlier, will be our output and these two pins will be the AC input. Now I will solder the output connections. Another thing that I'm going to use to build my power supply is 12 volts transformer. Now, these yellow cables of the transformer is output of the transformer and the red cables of the transformer is input of the transformers. Now, I'm going to connect, the, connect my circuit to the yellow cables of the transformer. It's a 12 volts uh, transformer. As you see, I made all necessary connections of the circuits and the transformer. Now it's time to put these components in a box. Let me summarize what we have done so far. We just made an AC to DC rectifier circuit and use a transformer. Just connect, bring them together. I'm going to use my hot glue. I just apply some hot glue on the transformer and put it in the box just like this. And then I'm just going to apply some hot glue to the capacitors and put the capacitors on the back. Okay, I fixed the transformer and the circuit. Until now, if you still don't understand what we have done so far, you can look at the picture and make the connections of this um, circuit for your power supply. 
Now I'm continuing to make the box for our power supply and I'm going to use again my hot glue. I'm going to use this plug for our power supply. Now I will just pull through the cables of the plug into this uh, piece of plastic to cover the box. Now I'm going to connect the plug to the input of the transformer. And also I will cover the connection with this electrical band in order to prevent any short circuit into the box. Let's connect the other wire and solder it again. And also cover with the electrical band. Now I'm going to put the top of the box. I'm going to make more stable everything with the help of tape. Now lastly I will close these parts of the box and after that we will finish our power supply and we will test it. Well, we finish our power supply. It seems very nice and very beautiful. This is the um, output of our power supply, 12 volts output. And this is the input of our power supply. Now it's time to test it and see how it's work. Okay, let's plug in. I have my multimeter here to measure the voltage and the current of the power supply. Well, the current is about 13.5 volts. Now let's look at the um, current of the power supply. Well, the current is about 3.4 amp. Yeah, it's pretty good, it's pretty nice. So we can say that our power supply is about 50 volts. It's almost enough for doing everything. Uh, you can charge your laptop, your battery, your lead acid battery and many things you can do with this power supply. Now, do some more um, test on it. I have a 12 volt bulb here. I will try to light with, uh, with my power supply. Okay, you see, it's very nice. Light's very nice. And I have some DC motors. This is 12 volts DC motor. Now I will try to turn this motor. Okay, that's great. To make it more visible, I will put a tape on the top of the motor and try again. Yeah, that's nice that's very good I have another DC motor here for this DC motor I just remove this uh, motor and make it more powerful more fast than the previous uh, version of this motor now I will turn this DC motor with my power supply
<laughs> okay, as you see, it's much more powerful and much more effective. Yeah, this is much more powerful than the other one. Lastly, I have another DC motor here. I just taken out this DC motor from an old RC helicopter. Now we will try to turn this DC motor with our power supply. Its RPM is very high because there are some neodymium magnets inside it, but its current is very high when you run this motor for a short time. After that, it will be very hot. So my recommendation for you, do not uh, apply high voltage to this DC motor because the properties of this DC motor, they are, uh, they are running with a high current but low voltage. So our voltage was about 13.5 uh, volts if you apply to this DC motor. Uh, you can damage this DC motor. And we get the end of our video. If you enjoyed it and like it, please subscribe my YouTube channel and like my videos. I'll see you in the next video. Stay with the electronics.